Check it out, folks. You can't say fall without this chili. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so look, I want you guys to go ahead and pay attention to these ingredients that I have out here, right here. Listen, as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. So what we're finna do is we're finna put some heat underneath the bottom. And what I like about this is, listen, I'm gonna do everything right here. So if you're doing your own dishes and all of that, you'll be happy about this recipe. Okay, so look, now we done built up a little heat, right? So, first thing I'm gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and do a little browning. So when I drop this in there, you should be able to hear something. So we'll just set that in there just like that. This is a leaner version of the ground beef, right? So if, I, if my memory serves me right, this is actually, I think this is 93.7, right? 93% lean, 7% fat. Now you gotta get yourself one of these meat, you know, meat mashes, right? I don't know the technical name for it, but you gotta get one of these. So when you're cooking in your Dutch oven, you're not in there with your metal utensils trying to break everything up. Now look, I'm gonna have you guys come on here and take a look you still gonna see a little bit of the red, right? You see that right there? I don't cook it all the way down yet because now it's time to season. Now look, I'm gonna be using my beef seasoning, right? This right here, give it a nice little profile, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put some seasoning on here like this. We gotta season our meat, folks. This is where it starts at, right? And then what are we making? We making chili, right? So we take our powder, just look at it. We just wanna put about half of it in there. To be honest with you, if you go over half, like I'm about to do anyway, you can always go back in your jar and get you some more. This is like the real, I ain't gonna say it's the real cause I got a secret ingredient that you guys don't see right now. That's finna like take it over the top. You know what I mean? But now I'm just gonna start working this in and taking my ground beef and getting it small. Just to like bring this into like perspective for everybody. You see this look like some people call that smoke, but look, that's steam. That's the moisture that's inside of the, you know, your ground beef that's coming out. That's why I don't put no lid over the top. You know what I mean? And it's, you know, like the telltale sign, let everybody know on your block that you're cooking something great. All right, so look, now we're gonna go ahead and just start, you know, prepping our veggies, right? So I'm gonna just cut this down the middle. Let me get this ready. You know what I mean? You can already see that I went ahead and did my onion. We gotta do the bell pepper. You know, this is what I call putting a smile on my face. We gonna mince that too, but check it out. We gonna mince it with this. Now. Okay, so look, if you notice, I'm using a whole jalapeno, right? This is what you want to do. Now, to, for those of you guys that like to have that uh, super spicy, you can save some of them seeds and you can put them in there. And I got to say this, here's a pro tip that I learned late in the game. We dice small for flavor and large for texture. Hey, you know what? I'm going to do something for you to get your, you, you know, your senses going. Listen to that. You hear that? Oh, man. Now, we're going to come with that onion. I got it, that's a lot of onion, but don't forget, we finna cook for a minute and all of this is gonna like go down, you know, like render down, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and use, I was gonna say most of this, but I'm gonna just be real with y'all. That was a large onion diced, you know, nice. And I know from chefs being, you know, you know, cooking and teaching me, they've all been taught that onion is no different than putting a bell pepper in, but you know, I like to preach. I like to say it this way. I start with my onion first, and then I add the rest of my ingredients. Seems like it take onion, to me, a little longer just to break down. Now I'm gonna come with the rest of my veggies. Right? Remember now, this is the larger of the bell pepper. And now I'll go with the small and the jalapeno together. All right, now we do a little mix. Now you know what, when it comes to the garlic and the mince, this is my time, folks. Pay attention right there, oh yeah. Look at that. Boy, I sure wish my grandma was here so I could show her this invention. Notice I put it on top. I don't have to worry about bur uh, burning. The rest of my ingredients go over here, just sprinkle them over the top. Yeah, another thing too I learned from like other chefs, they like all that sprinkling, just put it in there. It's gonna all mix anyway. But I'm gonna teach you guys the way I've been, you know, the way I've been taught, right? Now, the key to having everything to tasting good is we gotta taste as we go. We know this ground beef is cooked, you know what I mean? Uh, once we get it seasoned and mixed, you go ahead and get your taster spoon or fork, and then you taste it and you make your adjustments. This is what give you that guarantee. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon. That look about right. You know what I mean? You know what? I like to do heap into everything. So if I got a little bit more, that's okay, because more equal flavor, folks. Now we start adding our ingredients. Now this can, I'm only gonna add about a half. Really, I don't like, it depends on how you guys want your, your chili to be. You know what I mean? Uh, don't forget, like I said earlier, the full ingredient list, will, you know, and the measurements will be down in the description box below. But I like to look at it right here and just tell me, 
you know how it's going to end up. You know what I mean? I'm going to add just a little bit more. Now, look, I like fire roasted. You know what I mean? You, we, we're doing all of this for the flavor, right? So, obviously, we're not going to drain that. You know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and just give this a whirl. Uh, look at that, folks. You hear it? Now, we can go ahead and open up that uh, debate. I know all my Texans is finna get on me and, you know, say something. You know what I mean? Listen, are we doing beans or no beans? You tell me how you guys doing. So, just to give you like a little bit more of a preview, I told y'all like it meaty. You see like that? Now, we not done yet. Let me see if I can get it to even come off of there. Ah, yeah. Now, I went ahead and drained. I drained this one really good and this one I semi-drain. You know, it's a lot of flavor in there too. That's just the right amount of kidney beans. You know what I mean? Uh, that right there. I'm sorry I keep patting myself on the back, but listen, when you making stuff like this, this is what you put out for your friends and family, and just get it. Hey, you know what? I'm going to tell you this, too. Even though it's football season, season, this right here works great. As like you're just giving these out at halftime, this will get you through the rest of the game. Got my beef broth, right? And now I'm going to bring this over here just so you guys can see. You can use this. This is what I normally do it with. You know, when I make it, that's with the beer, right? But I'm going to show you we can substitute that with the beef broth. And you can look at the color. It's a little bit dark, darker than the chicken stock and the chicken broth. This got all of the flavor, too. So what we're doing is we do, we layering it, and we just building layers and layers, you know, of flavor. Now for a little bit of this brown sugar. Now look, in the instructions, it's going to say, you know, in the description box, it's going to say just a tablespoon, right? But I like it to be a little bit on the heaping side. You know what I mean? I guess some of y'all looking at that, like that's a little bit more than the heaping, but this is what we going with. Now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to just give it two generous pinches right now. Get this mixed up, and then I'm going to taste. Don't forget the kidney beans have already been cooked, right? You got them out of the can, if you went that version. If you ask me, if you want to make chili, don't, don't trip. I hear people saying chili take a long time. Unless I'm trying to do something over the top, that means I smoked some brisket and made a brisket chili. But this right here, I don't want to over talk it. I want you guys to, you know, just... Just do it, come back, and then I'll talk to you. Now for the secret ingredient, some of y'all gonna laugh, that's just cinnamon, folks. You gotta put a little cinnamon in there. If you wanna know why some people chili tastes better than yours, cause they holding that secret, but I'm giving up the game. So look, they're gonna be beating down my door. Now, I really don't have, it depends on how big of a pot, you guys might be doubling in this, doubling in it, you know what I mean? So I just start off with just like, uh, I like to put a teaspoon in there. You don't need no whole lot in here, you know what I mean? But then listen, we gotta do that taste game. All right, folks, I don't know what else to say. Listen, we got to put a little time under it. You know what I mean? Uh, if I were doing a brisket chili, I'd probably cook this for about four hours. But this right here, we just going to go two hours. We just want to get everything cooked throughout. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to show it to you one last time. I'm going to just bring it up like that. And I want you to see how it slides off right there. You can see the liquid. But look, you don't see no grease. Anyway, two hours. I'll be back. All right, look, so I'm prepped and I'm ready to put it in a bowl, right? So listen, now we're going to go ahead and look at this. Okay, people, look, now you've seen this go down like this, but check this out. Talk to me. How many of y'all just take you back to your childhood? I don't know if they still doing it like this. I think you guys down there in Texas, y'all might, but this right here was a real level up. Cause check it out, what'd that say? Chili cheese. Now you can go this way. You can go old school like this. You can take one of these, you know, cornbread muffins, break it up, put it in there. But listen, I'm finna do some cheese, uh, sour cream, chives, and green onions. That's how I get down. So talk to me, folks. Tell me you didn't like what you saw. If you tell me you didn't, I know something ain't right. Hey, so with that being said, listen, I, you see I done opened this up and got it ready. I'm going to go ahead and take the smaller bowl right now. Let me just go ahead and just give me a couple of chips. I'm not finna over talk it. Guess what? It's chow down time. Oh, yeah. Mm, nothing like a good chili. Right? Cheers, y'all. Mm. Mm. Now, you know, I always tell y'all, make it. Don't take my word for it. But you've seen the ingredients. You know, it's probably like, Eric, some people are going to say, it's just like I make it. But look, I can do, give you the same recipe, and two people can do it, and it come out with a different taste. Do it the way I showed you guys. Don't forget to level it up with that little bit of that cinnamon and that right there get you going. You know how I'm going to know? Because you're going to come back and you're going to tell me, hey, thanks, AB. You done done it again. 
Nah, for real. Now, check this out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I got some chili to finish. I'm out. Peace.